Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. Look, let's talk about Navy Federal. And we're talking about Navy Federal versus BCU Baxter Credit Union, okay? And I made a short video about Baxter Credit Union, but today's video, I'm going to go a little more deeper. And for especially for you guys that are struggling to get into Navy Federal, I'm going to share some things with you about Baxter Credit Union that you have no idea that they were doing that kind of makes Navy Federal like sit on the sidelines, okay? Now, here, here's the thing about it. So with Navy Federal, I always tell you, especially an uh, internal score, Navy Federal is like a, it's all about a relationship, right? So with that relationship, the thing about it is the more accounts you have, the more opportunity it is for them to give you more funding and everything, right? Now, here's the thing about it. Even if you have bad credit, right? We know that 550, 580 credits is score, you can get 15, $25,000 cards, all right? So I always tell you, you want to consider trying to get maybe starting out with a flagship checking account, doing a direct deposit would help with your internal score. Then you have your savings accounts, all right? So you have your savings account. So I definitely tell you to get a savings account. And like I said, Make sure when you get your savings account that you're putting some money in it every week. Even if it's like $5, just put $5 in it or whatever. And even in like your checking account, make sure that you're putting five, ten dollars $10 in it. All right. It's very important because you're building that relationship with Navy Federal. And I'll tell you some key points to this as well. Now, here's the thing about it. I would tell you now when you have when you have a bad credit score, all right, and you're trying to boost up your credit, you also want to do the secured loan, all right. And I made plenty of videos talking about the uh, pledge loan hack, right? So that's basically what it is. It's a pledge loan that they have and everything. So I always tell you to get the pledge loan, and then I would tell you in rewards card, right? So I'll tell you to get the in rewards secured card. Now, here's something that's interesting. So you have direct deposit, savings account, in rewards, pledge loan, save, excuse me, flagship checking account. So you have five different accounts. Now, here's the thing, like I was telling you about a client. What they end up doing, they also had this savings account and then they also open up like a uh, money money market account with navy federal so by them opening up a money market account with navy federal that end up helping them just go from a in rewards uh secured card to a from an in rewards secured card to the cash rewards uh credit card all right. So that automatically triggered them to go over to the cash rewards credit card. Now, here's the thing about it with Navy Federal that a lot of people don't like. OK, so let, let me get this. A lot of people been having challenges with Navy Federal with their personal loans. Right. They have good credit and stuff. But the thing about it with Navy Federal, and I, I made a video about this in terms of personal loan. It doesn't matter that you have a pledge loan or not, okay? So that's one thing you definitely have to keep in mind. So thinking that you're going to have multiple pledge loans is going to give you a Navy Federal loan? No, all right? Navy Federal is real key on having minimum utilization when trying to go for a personal loan with them, all right? Now, granted that your internal score even though you may have a high internal score, that's not going to get you a personal loan. So your internal score goes from 100 up to 450, right? But your internal score is only good for credit cards, right? So it has nothing to do with a personal loan. Now, here's the thing about it. Like I said, internal score don't help you. Pledge loan don't help you. So again, it all goes back to your utilization of your other accounts is what they look at in terms of deciding. And again, I'll post a video so you can actually see more details about that. Now, here's the bigger challenge for most people that they hate is because they have to jump through all these hoops and stuff to join, right? Now, Navy Federal on uh, the personal side uses TransUnion 509. 
right? They use TransUnion 509. And on the business side, they use Experian 509 to give you like a business line of credit, a business credit card and stuff. All right. But again, for a lot of people that's trying to get in, they can't get in. So they're like, okay, where do I go? Well, here's the thing about it. I would tell you to check out BCU, Baxter Credit Union. All right. Now, some people say, well, are they are they geo targeted or whatever? Well, here's the thing about it. On the business side, yes. Personal side, no. OK, so business side, yes. Personal side, no. Now, the thing about it, it's so easy to get into them. Like I said, if you have a, a family member that's worked at Target, CVS, but they have another pro way program which is a doorway to actually join as a matter of fact and it wouldn't even cost you anything to join right so this is a bcu and they offer the loans the cars everything that navy federal offers they offer as well but again you don't have to jump through the hoops now the interesting thing about it so they offer uh four ways to join so they have the employment so again if you have a family member that's like with Target or CVS or something like that, you can join. For other counties like Cook County and stuff like that, you can join. Even if you was in Puerto Rico, right? A uh, family member. Now, Life Money U. Life Money U is a program, right? And if you go through BCU to join this program, okay? you will be able to get membership. And as a matter of fact about this, what they'll do if you go through BCU, look at it, that $5, they'll waive it. Subscribe and Life and Money, Life, Money and You will cover your subscription fee. That $5 fee, you don't pay it. They'll cover that just for you to join, and then you can get into BCU. Now, some of you are like, okay, Houston, what's so important about BCU? Let's look at their rates, right? So they offer the personal loans and stuff like that. Their rates, starting out rates on personal loans, I think it's like one percentage uh, point uh, lower than uh, Navy Federal. So let's see, can I go back? So just bear with me one moment. Uh, Navy Federal starting now at 7.49, 7 right? Now, they, their uh, interest rates uh, start out a little higher, okay? But you're like, okay, so what's the big deal? Well, here's the thing about it. They use a Vantage score. That's right. They use a Vantage score. And not only that, let me show, share with you something else. Like I said, with Navy Federal in their personal loans, with Navy Federal in their personal loan, they make it so hard for you to get a loan through them. But here, with Baxter, guess what? Look at who they use for their, their third-party loans. Upgrade and Upstart. With a 560, 580 credit score. Their loans are so much easier to get because, again, they use Advantage Score or a FICO 9. And, like I said, your scores are starting at a 580, 560 credit score in the um, DTI, your debt to income ratio, through them getting these third party loans is up to 70, 75%. So even if you have a high uh, DTI, you still will have a higher chance going through BCU to get a personal loan, all right? Now, I'm not knocking Navy Federal because Navy Federal is very good. But again, for people that cannot join Navy Federal, I would actually consider going through, joining this year to the Life, Money, and You Join in there because they're going to cover your fee and join in BCU and then going after their personal loans and stuff. Now, granted, can you can you get go directly through upgrade and upstart to get personal? Absolutely. But at the same time, say that you wanted credit cards. Say that you was trying to go after uh, credit cards, right? You're trying to go after credit cards. These credit cards. Now, you know. No, like if you were in the lower 600s, you can get it. Now, like I said, the good thing about Navy Federal, even if you are 555, 580 credit score, they'll give you 
25, 10, 15, 25 thousand dollars. But at the same time, being able to know that now with this here credit union, since they pull TransUnion, they use a Vantage score, you can actually use that in order to get uh, funding. All right. So I just wanted to make this video. If you guys have any questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.